for tuning in. Today's video is a requested video. One of my subbies by the name of Jenna asked me for clothing storage solution when you don't have a closet. So I came up with this DIY portable crate closet. Now after I finished it, I fell in love with it and thought it was so perfect for minimalist or if you're a YouTuber that does clothing hauls, it's such a cute way to display your clothes before trying it on. Guys, I also know that some of you have been having some trouble finding it and all I can say is please, please, please be patient. The Dollar Tree where I found these crates didn't have them a month ago when I did my first crate DIY and when I went back this weekend, they had a mountain. So I know that other stores have them, but you don't want to spend more money to make the same project. So please be patient. And by the time your store finally gets them, you'll have a whole list of DIYs to choose from since me and some other ladies have made some amazing crate DIYs. Anyway guys, don't forget to show this channel some love by clicking subscribe and giving me a big thumbs up. Let's get started. So I'm starting off with these crates from Dollar Tree and I'm doing the same steps that I've done in every video which is line the entire thing with E6000. So I'm lining every row. And I'm going to be using the wall as a leveler so that everything can be perfectly straight. So I'm just going to flip it, push it up against the wall and then up against the other crate. And I'm going to do two vertical rows and two horizontal rows. So with these hinges from Walmart, which were 97 cents, I add E6000 to one side and then secure it with masking tape. And I do two per crate, and these are the crates that are gonna be the top part. So with some baby oil, I just brushed it on the hinges just in case any of the glue got in. And this time around, I'm going to actually glue the thumbtacks in and put some masking tape to secure it. So now to assemble, I just flipped the bottom piece and I glued both sides, both ends, and I attached both of my towers on top. So then I secured it with my clip and once it was dry, I added zip ties to both sides and this is just to make sure that this is not going to move at all. And then I did the same thing to the top, which is add glue, add my zip ties, and then I removed all the masking tape from what was drying. So to make the actual frame, I used a waste basket and I'm just cutting this down so that I can get a chicken wire effect. So I'm cutting the top, the bottom, and the sides. The idea to use the waste basket as chicken wire is from Classy Crafting and Parcels and I'll leave the DIY below. So with these five by seven frames from Dollar Tree, I just took it apart completely and then I removed those little metal pieces. And then I used this to measure out my chicken wire. So with my side cutters, I just cut it down to size. So I am gonna be keeping them white. So what I'm doing is gluing the frames directly onto that top row without the chicken wire. When everything was fully dry, I took it outside and gave it a coat of Rust-Oleum's Rose Gold. And you guys, this spray paint gun made life so much easier. It was suggested by Tisha from Couponing Forever and oh my god, it's great. So after everything was dry, I went back inside and on the inside of the frame, I just added glue to one side and then pressed my chicken wire in and then did the same thing to the other side until it was secure. So with these Dollar Tree magnetic strips, I just removed the lining and added it directly to the thumbtacks and then added glue to the sticky side and closed the door and that's just so it's perfectly aligned with the door. So Dollar Tree has these out over the cabinet towel bars and they extend and you can use this to hang your clothes but I don't recommend it because it would put too much pressure on the top. So I use this Walmart curtain rod. And that's it guys, that simple. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so, so very much for watching. Till next time.